I've been working on Asian elephant for the last uh, 25 years. I uh, worked in different landscape uh, across the globe. I work Asian elephant both in captivity and also in the forest. So I travel a lot. I move to all the remote areas in the world and also make visit all the major cities in the world. The reason I visit m major cities in the world is primarily all the zoos keep elephant in the major cities. Then I also visit a lot of temples. So that gives me a perspective of looking at elephant and also the, the individual or the species who manage elephant. So I just want to kind of travel through my experience, what I see and how what is the, the species looking for and as an individual species what we have given to them. And I'm not going to make it more technical but I just try to travel through a very storyline. So this is what I want everyone to ask. Think about elephant for a short while. What difference would that would make to an elephant if you think about it for a short while? So what we found, the small seconds and minutes of knowledge matters a lot. Because if I'm speaking to a policymaker, he gives me only five minutes or two seconds. Can I convert all the, all the knowledge within two minutes? The two minutes are very important, then the 25 years are also very important. So without the 25 years, you cannot create these two minutes or a two second. So now it's a very conflicting status now where you have tried to assume that you have learned a lot and you want to convert that into a small piece of information where somebody gets convinced. Because consistently we have been noticing across the world, you need to convince the policy makers. It's very important and you need to speak something which is more sensible I'll just add a simple example that some time ago a lady was killed in uh, Kur by elephant. And the incident was very sad. Primarily that she, went, she was inside the forest or uh, close to the forest landscape. He saw an elephant and she ran to his, uh, her house. And after some time she realized that I left my bucket. That moment was very important for her. And if she had decided to wait for some time, she would not have been killed. When this happened, this entire uh, administration in Kur felt the elephants are dangerous. So they have to be removed. They have to be destroyed. So how do you convince? The district officer, the district DC comes to the concern officer, says, no, we need to do something because elephants have been killing people. Then I was called in. Then I was talking to the DC. Sir, think about a situation where there are a lot of tribal live in the forest. Nobody gets killed. A lot of researchers go to forest. Nobody gets killed. The elephant is not dangerous because people live 24 hours, 365 days for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. Not even a single human being from that particular landscape get killed. Okay. Now, now that when we spoke to the this particular officer, when we said this elephant is not dangerous, he's, he just, we took only five minutes to convey, then he is really, truly convinced. He said, like, fine, that I cancel my idea of capturing this elephant. Okay? So now the, the idea what we convey, the, based on the knowledge what we have, it's very important. And it's a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience converted into a very scale of small minute or some small second. That's what really matters. Now, I promised this my daughter, but every slide I use here is going to be part of my talk. <coughs> And I just wanted to, this was an incident which happened that she was to participate in a dance program. The program was to be at 7 o'clock. She got up at 4 o'clock, decorated herself very well. Instead of 7, it was conducted only at 9 or 10 or 12 o'clock. She was completely exhausted. No water, nothing to be given. And she was so exhausted and irritated. I went and, why don't you cry? If I cry, my makeup will be lost. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take water? No, my lipstick will be lost. 
Okay. Next, think about elephant. This is exactly what elephants also go through. And how we decorate and what is that like, for example, this just when I compare this to as a human being, as my daughter, as a species, an elephant, they share both in common because they are not consciously intelligent to say this is not correct. So now, if my daughter was arrogant and violent, I would have appreciated because we have pushed her to the extent and expecting her to be Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> it's, not, it's unfair. No? So now, if you are expecting the same with the elephant, put them in different color, you can have a combination of colors. All the decoration possible. This is a very important slide to me. Because how do you expect elephant to know that? Or the elephant would also enjoy. <laughs> because after color, somebody gives me a very colorful food. If I do this coloring, that mouth is very happy, the owner is very happy. So it will go and volunteer itself, why don't you color me? When there is a link between my being colored and I have been given food. Now this, this problem is not linked to an Indian context. It travelled across the, the globe. If you look at the link between the violence and the decoration, what I noticed through my life is looking at my daughter, I see through. Think about you are decorated, the thousands and thousands of people are standing before you, coming and looking at you. Just think about I come and look at you, you feel very stressed out. Okay, you start looking at why this man looking at me. Okay? Then think about somebody comes and touches you continuously. Thousand, ten thousand people coming and touching you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> think about it. Then the crowd, noise, this is what happens. So the elephant kill people. Now we can, we, we can actually technically justify the killing. Now the, the second aspect I want to talk about, that, that we color ourselves. The next aspect that... So I personally believe, if you ban smoking, I would expect the government to ban sitting for continuously long time. <laughs> Okay, they both have the similar effect of health issues. Okay, now if we move to the elephant, what we do to the elephant? Okay, it's fine for us, we can sit and we can do, we are consciously intelligent species, we can make all our repair possible. But what happens if we make elephant to sit? <laughs> These are very powerful, large mammals. The body itself, like you have at the birth, it tells 100 kg or 100 centimeter of the weight. And at a huddled wood, it will reach up to say about 5,000 to 5,000 5, 5, kg of animal. So now you are making the animal to, training the animal to use a power behavior. That animal has to put all its power to participate in the activity. So what we call a power behavior, which is not good for their... This particular infant kept in a cold condition. During winter, so cold, and the animal started shivering. What people felt, okay, let us buy blanket. Some people even felt why don't we go and hug the elephant for continuously for two days? Okay, create a warm nest. So what happened? This animal then they bought a blanket and they covered it. After a few minutes, it removed it and threw it out. So the idea, a simple idea, would have been that you have kept the elephant in captivity. The logic could have been very simple: that you close the door, put the closed door in a very warm condition, and they give a lot of much to the animal. It will put on on itself. It takes care of its thermal regulation temperature. So what we do, we keep the elephant in cold condition. Then we'll justify that, okay, we'll, I'll buy a sweater. I make sweater for the elephant. See, that wearing sweater is a very an interesting uh, cognition-based uh, logic, right? If it's dirt, it becomes not usable. You take it out, wash it, iron it, clean it. So the process of wearing sweater is just not a wearing a sweater. You need to have a mind of removing. You need to mind of taking out wearing it. But how do you expect elephant to know? Look at the skin of elephant in the forest and they are kept in captivity. So now these are the white dots. This is an indication of poor quality of skin. Very truly a very highly abused, so I would use a word, non-visible cruelty. The animal is fed well, nobody is uh, disturbing, the freedom is given. But if we look at the skin, it is in a pathetic condition. Why? Because the food what is provided, this is what really matters. Are we intelligent to know that what, how, what is the calorie we eat every day? What is the calorie we need to take it? Do we know how, many calo how much of calorie it takes and it goes into, truly into our nutrient regime? Because this nutrient is very important, it saves your, all the activities, including a skin. If you just look at the legs of elephant in the forest, it appears like this. When elephant is kept in captivity for a long period, 
standing continuously on a concrete floor. This happens. This is just a parallel what I can think about it. Now what you can do? You can put a design of an elephant in zoo, but not elephant, expecting the elephant to put a shoe for itself. So you expect the elephant to go to temple, oh, I reached a temple, let me remove the footwear. Okay, then, if it's not removing it, beat him continuously. So now I'm just saying this is all a very consciously intelligent based process where you need to process whatever you do it, where to remove, where not to remove. If you do it for as a human being, it's fine, but I can argue with you that what are the damage you can do it for yourself, wearing a footwear, not wearing footwear, <laughs> biologically. So the, as we need to understand that we are all a creatures of a biological design. It is not an individual design, what we like to do it. I just divert the little bit for a moment from the elephant to tiger. So like if the claw for the tiger is very important, it has to be sharpened. There's no nail cutter in the forest. So the, the, the nature landscape brilliantly associates itself to a land. It's just not food. The, every stone you see inside makes difference. So what I use a very, my very common word, nature's nail cutter. If you look at elephant legs in temple, it's completely broken. The nails are overgrown. Unfortunately, the elephant uh, uh, thermoregulation mechanism, it's in the leg. Okay, when overgrown cuticles can surely affect the temperature. Think about you have a nails which is not removed forever. You can put a lot of design to it. But what kind of a biological damage it can do to you? So now in the forest, who is cutting this? Nails. Can we invent, apply our mind, create one nail cutter and ask the elephant to come and the nail cutter was 10 rupees and they sell it for 25 rupees? that we go through the entire process of being intelligent, then we give all the opportunity, every process evolves. The competition, corruption, everything evolves because you want to create this one. But the nature decides, I don't create anything, I'll give you what I have, you use it effectively. So I just want to trace like how as human being, see elephant and what we can truly do to an elephant and what we should not do to the elephant. So I have to say this primarily because we have about 37,000 to 30,000 elephants in the wild. There are about 4,000 elephants in captivity. If you look at the global population, there are 60,000 elephants, or 50,000 elephants across the 14 countries. And India holds about 50% of it. And if you look at the captive elephants in the world, there are 50,000 captive elephants, and India has about 4,000 of it. So whether it's a captive elephant or a wild elephant, who decides the future? Human being. <laughs> okay. So the human mind is more important to know whether he is knowledgeable to take a decision about himself or another species. Now, unfortunately, he is an emperor. So, we will try to trace this emperor's new mind, old mind. I would like to ask whether the emperor has any mind at all. <laughs> if the mind is not there or there, not there, that is what really helps you to take a decision. That the decision what you take, it could be on a short distance we convey to the uh, manager or a policy maker, that is what really going to decide. Okay, now this mind is very interesting over a period of time. We go through the entire history, like you go to Konark 13, 13 centuries ago. No? Look at, you have an elephant. There's a particular individual animal called, in a different part of the country it's called different animal. In Tamil Nadu it's called Yali, Narasimha. Okay? So, like when I was traveling through this uh, landscape and tried to get some ex information out of it, that particular a uh, tourist guy told me, sir, this is power, that's a lion, this is knowledge, elephant. If you have power and knowledge, you are dead. That's what you see a human being, dead human. <laughs> that was his interpretation. Okay? The power and knowledge will surely kill people. So that this is the old king or new king or new emperor, old emperor, they will decide the future of the elephant. <laughs> now, these are small pictures, like what are the future this would actually help? Currently, recently, China and uh, uh, America has decided to ban all the ivory trade. So the emperor's new decision, fantastic, respectable decision. <laughs> so if you look at the history, the elephants were, and really, elephants were a very interesting aspect to the people. Okay? People in Rome felt, if I have to conquer nature, conquer elephant and lion, destroy elephant and lion, then I have achieved my interest of reaching to 
conquering the nature actually. So just to give you an idea about how a female, the elephant system works, there's a strong, sensible sisterhood. As a sister, we decide not our husbands and mother-in-laws. This is what they convey. How they convey? Look at the family of elephant. This consisted of different individual, primarily grandmother, grandmother, daughters, 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 daughters. All are related. If you are a female, you don't go out of the family throughout your life. This is the just a basic background. So you will have a three different layer. Experienced mother, mothers, and potential mothers. Okay. So now, the experienced mothers are very important. They are given birth. They have a lot of experience. Because if you look at the elephant, they have 20, 18 to 22 months of pregnancy and four years of uh, taking care of the uh, young ones. So where who gives the strength and the energy? Okay. Her sisters, all together, they create this environment of providing continuous support. The support is very important. Look at this. This calf actually help the mother health status also. The calf will never allow the mother to continuously feed on something. Constant trouble what the calf gives. Okay, make the mother fit. <laughs> okay, mother cannot eat too much. Mother cannot be underfed. Just think about there are two mother. This is an interesting part of it. All the female elephants in a group come into the same time for cycling. There's a reproductive synchrony. At least two female, three female give birth. When two calves are playing, the two mothers brilliantly rest. You know, there are examples what we notice, even in the captivity which we have kept in for a longer period of time. The two individual, they're playing, and one was really bullying the other one. The mother was waiting, watching, she's feeding. At some point she came and she felt it's too much that you are troubling the young one too much. She came and to push him against the tree. He made sound, cried for life, and he walked back. She walked back. But if you don't permit the conflict, then you think that every time you need to go and try to settle the issues immediately. The conflict is an important part of learning. Okay? So now you permit both in a very small extent, an acceptable, respectable extent, then the mother goes back and starts feeding. Now, another important aspect, to think about there are only one calf, one mother and one father. The danger of it, that the calf has no option to accept, observe the old people. The knowledge of old is translated to the young one, it's dangerous. It has to be progressively tra transferred. So that like if you look at the human chain for some time, it cannot speak. That's a design. If you speak, you don't listen. Constantly you speak. You process your mind. So that the calf has to learn so much to observing. The observing makes a lot of sense in terms of that you don't ask questions. Even if you are asked questions, you don't know which language you ask this question to mother. That you don't ask questions. You observe. You process. So now if you think about a zoo or anywhere where you are very happy, there is one mother, one calf. The calf through a lot of stress. Constantly it has to play. There is no playmate. And it starts observing the mother. Mother is too old, 60 years. Just think about, I get my wisdom of four years from my 60 years old mother. It's dangerous. So what is our interest? Do you want to make the calf intellectually very rich, knowledgeable? Or biologically, progressively growing? What is our interest? So now what happened, that calf, another female give birth. These two calves play. They don't even see the mother. When they feel tired, exhausted, they'll go only to the mothers to drink milk. They may not even know whom they are, which female they are drinking milk. I drink, I don't know which is my mother or grandmother or aunt. Okay? The fantastic process of play, fantastic design of taking care of the nutrient. Then the mothers also. Think about it, that you are exhausted and can you ask your husband to give milk? To the baby. The biological designs are very different. So you cannot afford to keep elephant individually. Now this is what you see, like if every group what you see, as I'm just placing some photographs before you, you don't see a single small calf. Not a single female. It's of a group which help. That what happened that you play, the play is very important that you need to fight among yourself because that you are, sometime you are going to fight in your life with someone. So that fight is a very important process. The conflict is a very important process. All has been taken care that the land is giving you a fantastic uh, the profile of uh, trimming your uh, nails. And it gives a fantastic nutrient because then if you go to a uh, railway station, you see a word called uh, mina. Okay? If you see the same word in the forest, 
the two different colorful worlds. How that happens? Because in the railway station, what do you get? Garbage, garbage, and garbage. Do you think that will take care of the nutrient of the feather of this hmm? feather of a bird, which is nutrientally very important because you have what you call a sexual selection, where you need to be very colorful, you need to dance before the females. Okay. And how do you dance? That what the dance is important primarily, that are you like if you dance, they are healthy. If your feather is fantastic, that you are eating a fantastic nutrient quality. So when you start manipulating, decorating, then I am in trouble. <laughs> okay? I just need only one thing, that your gene is to be pure, good, fantastic, that transfer to me. I, there is no need for me to depend on you for your, your knowledge and resources. You gave me something which is respectable. I have my sisters to take care of it. We deal the families. So what I was effectively saying, there is no breakage possible need it. Because this human being or elephant both, what you call, they reach an adulthood stage. Till 14 years. They have to learn. The learning is not just you need to learn from the schools or college or universities or it you need to identify the landscape. The conflict, the breakage is not permitted. Effectively, when the mother is tired, the sister will take care of the, taking care of the breakage. If you look at the male also, though we consider the males are solitary, if you look at, till 14 years they are with a group. They form a bachelor group they associate it to a female group. So the, even the solitary males are not solitary in uh, elephants. The food is not contaminated. Because if nature, fresh, anytime you can explore, there's no need to depend on somebody who will cook food for me. That I, as a mother, I need to be taught by mother, this is what you need to eat. The 14 years of observing, I learned what to eat. Then after there is no need to depend on, mother never closes the food. The float is all day open. As I learn something, I go and identify what to eat, what not to eat. And it's a fresh, it's not contaminated. Now, this is what we also notice that when you have a calf within the family group, they look at the size of the body condition of the calf. When the calf loses a mother, that become very like the weight differences. Like in at, at, at the birth, that will be an under kg up to 100 centimeter. But when the calf is weaned by whatever reason the mother is killed, no, then it goes up to 40 kg, 28 kg, 30 kg. The survival is not possible. The another aspect of for elephant is elephant needs shade, not the set. Like if you look at this process of photograph, the shade is a very important aspect because when you feel cold, you go to this very nice uh, sunny locations. When you feel hot, you come into it. Okay, when you put a shade, no, what happens? It kills all your grasslands. The stone is lost. Okay, so every construction you put, the effectively you remove what is natural. Then for which you need to construct separately. Now they look at these pictures, but this is how the nature gives the nature shade. So this is a very manipulative, whichever part, if I feel some my part of my body is very hot and I want to get cold, I move a little bit. When I feel some of my, I feel little gold, then I go to open. So this you can manipulate. So any design, what you think about, this would be a nature's design. Now if you come to the captivity where you go to zoos or, uh, you know, that people, they keep elephant in, under one tree, some ten elephants. There is a competition among them. The elephant which are dominant, hierarchically very different, it will push other elephant. So they are, then they, the concept of being cooperative can be killed by being kept them in nature, and nature. The animal won't sure, surely fight. No, 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 I don't believe in this being closeness. I'm, now I'm an independent individual, so I get my state first, you wait. So that kills entire process of social living also. When you go to captivity, this is what you see. Now if you look at the, the forest-based landscape and where the elephants are there, and you look at the cities where the elephants are there, you see a contrast. <laughs> Landscape dictate the, the decision-making process. For example, when I keep following the elephant, the elephant keep walking, then suddenly when the river sound makes them to change their idea. Okay, the river is going to make sound, so now I have to get the feeling of drinking water. The, the music of the river, the triggers, like for example, if I start going and taking water, you would expect, you would also feel that some, you would like to drink water. So this happens by two policy. One, that social clue, Q, and the environment Q. So if you effectively remove, if there's no river, elephant kept in captivity, no chain, it's not seeing water, I would assume that elephant would never drink water. If you don't drink water, when you wait for the water to be taken only after you feel thirsty, it's a disease. The water should be taken care before you feel thirsty. So for which you need to look at water bodies. Then they go as a group, as I said. When they go as a group, like if somebody is not interested in drinking water, he has no option to go into water. They're not going to wait for you. <laughs> So you have to follow the crowd. Now what happens when you go to cities? 
So what you see is a ground to full water to a bucket. And sometimes you feel that it's so intelligent, we can invent a tube and give it to elephant also. You expect elephant also to invent a tube and it drink it by itself. Right? Now you feel you are so intelligent that I don't have a stone, I use elephant to wash, wash my the chloro. <laughs> Look at the kind of chemical goes into the elephant body. So you don't mind having a chemically soaked dresses, but you want the elephant also to have that process. <laughs> So now the another aspect because they have to scratch their body. It's just not only the food what species what they eat. That does other species which is not part of the food regime act as a very important scratching point. Because if they don't like they don't go for a bath. The mud is lacked as a brilliant uh, cast you no? in terms of like it create a very brilliant layer out of it. Sometimes you may not even see the elephant. This is an interesting part what we notice. They take mud bath only after the bath. It's almost like a baby after a bath, mother putting a lot of powder to it. But with the difference between these two powder, that's a natural, <laughs> this is unnatural. So you'll add a color and smell, but you create health issues too. Yes. <laughs> now what happens if you're in captivity, you don't want the elephant to be with the dust. Every time when the dust is put, the mouth will come, come down, put it and remove it. The my elephant is very clean, sir. What we call king makers are more powerful than the kings by themselves. Why we say, look at the size of the males. I'll just give you one graph. See, what happens in the elephant society, after 14 years, the elephant go out of the, male elephants go out of the group. So they spend a lot of time foraging and feeding very well very variety of food. There is a difference between the weight of female elephant to the male elephant. All the weight increases and the, the difference is what you see, it's an effort of mother. Every single effort what the mother is putting, that is what creating the huge because that you are to be selected. To be selected, you need to be good. So there is a concept in the elephant family, we receive only good things, we send only good things. So that every effort the individual mothers put, it create a king. And nobody knows that the king was created by the king makers. <laughs> now you look at the task. You know how much of effort that nature has to put to create this task, it's not easy. Every inch of growth needs a proper specific nutrient. And it cannot be achieved by an artificial nutrient. If you overfeed, you are in trouble. If you don't feed, you are in trouble. If you don't eat variety, you are in trouble. If you eat too much of variety, you are in trouble. If you eat too much variety, you are in trouble. If you don't eat too much, you are in trouble. <laughs> so what do you call a balancing, how this happened, that how this process is achieved. This is what really, like every, like you look at these are very big tasks. Like they, 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 they that's also an interesting study our group has carried out when they look, followed the elephant and looked at the size of the tusk and also look at the parasitic load in the dung. As the size increased, the parasitic load decreases. So what do you do? Assume that they advertise health, the brilliant health. Unfortunately, the female likes to have a big tusk and the poachers also. <laughs> so every inch of tusk is important to the female elephant because that's a signal of health, identity. Okay. Now the further poacher also feels okay. That we will follow the females. We'll wait for them to select. Then we'll when we know where their selection will be surely nice, good. <laughs> okay, I will kill them. And another aspect said so that what happened after 14 years, they move out of the group. They form a bachelor group, and they have to be accepted by females. Think about the situation that you are not you are not able to see your own reproductive organ. You are not able to see the partner's reproductive organ, but you need to mate. It's not easy. Okay that needs experience. So now the mating happens before the group. But it's not happening before the group, the elephant's in trouble. <laughs> if that happens in human being before the group, the human beings are in trouble. <laughs> so it's a very important learning of process where you, after this instant, you see the young ones doing a pseudo mounting. So this is a process where you are actually training yourself. It's just not a homosexuality, but it's primarily training yourself to reach the stage where you are able to reproduce very well. So the mating has to happen before the group. In natural system, war is expected between species or individuals of the same species to increase their inclusive fitness. But in unnatural system, war is expected between different sexes of the same species. I just to illustrate through this story where this particular female elephant in captivity, she was troubled by a male because she was not cooperating. So now why she is not cooperating? She has not, she has not seen mating. She is not able to understand she is in the process of going through a cycle. She is not part of a group. Because the males very important, play an important role, trigger the cycle of, cycle of females. Like when a male comes and touches on the body of female in a specific uh, position that we know, 
this female is in stress. There is no any eye technology study needed. Follow the elephant. Spend a lot of time in the field. You would know which female is going to come to suffer. Okay. So now there is a process of mating. There is maybe a successful mating or not successful mating. The interesting part is that every four months they come to cycle and only two days. So given female elephant can mate only six days in a year. <laughs> and she can give birth only six times. So the resources are very, very, in terms of the reproductive resources are very, 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 very rare. Now there is a competition. <laughs> and if you have not learned what is reproduction, what is cycling, huh? so like this has also been noticed in some of the European zoos, where the female will give birth at the age of uh, six years, seven years. She has no idea what time, because the, the mating was interesting, giving, is, will never be, giving birth will never be an interesting process. <laughs> And immediately after seeing what is this, what is this nonsense, it will kill. The many instant, the female elephant, half kept in zoos, in of a younger age of six years, seven years, give birth, they kill their own calf. Like I've seen a situation that in the forest, the, the calf falls, suddenly the one may, small calf, so scared, because the sound was so surprising and uh, disturbing, no? He ran for life. <laughs> then he was curious, what is happening, the new more member in our family, come back and touch and the mother permitted to touch. So you have the fear, develop a fear, then parallelly that you look at what has happened to the system, who is this character, how you came. Can you give a lecture to this, okay, the sex education should be started in the adult thing age itself. Can you go and talk to the young males? Look at this is what happened. You cannot tell all these things. It has to be learned. If somebody tells that we need to start an education program in the young age itself, no, there is no idea. So that never happens in the society of elephant. So now this particular case where this female has not seen other female elephant, not experienced what is mating, and what is not like for example the temple elephant what we also notice, those elephants which kept in temple, they develop a cyst in their ovary. They cannot reproduce. The reason, there are two reasons, because there are no males to trigger, there are no other female to help and they eat too much. They, they stand continuously over a period of throughout their life. If you don't eat nutriently rich, if you don't excise, and if you are not triggered by looking at the say, cycling process of reproduction, you will have a severe reproductive health issues. Then you develop a doctors, identify your IQ, <laughs> put all the question of doctors and doctors and make them to tell you the story of your personal act. So I personally believe the female are biologically designed to reproduce and deliver. Males are reduced only to reproduce. The lifespan of lust become long, their brains are not in the head but between legs. Because that is what the happens. But where you, this happens only in a natural system. Where you don't feel, see, any time self-respecting male going and disturbing, showing any violence to the female elephants. Because there is no scope. So you create an unnatural system then expect the animal to behave the way you want. And after that give the lecture and which language you give. So now what happened in nature, the elephant feeds 300 to 400 species of plants of different varieties. And some part will help them to exercise their leg, uh, uh, trunk, some will be of the legs, some will be of the body, some will be the tail. So every part of the body is exercised. Then they also eat very non-contaminated fresh food. If you look at the number of different type of forest where they are found, they are found in almost all possible forest types. So the almost all possible forest type offer a almost all possible food species. <laughs> there is the grassland when you feel very hot then you go into the, that, that, that particular layer of uh, forest areas. If you just remove all the, uh, the elephant likes grasses, when they provide grasses, then you will not take care of the temperature issue. <laughs> Which could be even worse. So what is between the shade and food, I would ask people to look into shade, not the food. Because you are exposing yourself for longer time during sunlight, you are in trouble, the skin is in trouble. And your nutrient, whatever you consume, will be also in trouble. Okay. So, what happened then, you cannot expect that we have seen in the forest that the early hours, the, the feeding efficiency goes up. They feed like anything. Then by 10, 10, 12 o'clock, the feeding efficiency comes down. It's very slow down. Now, if elephant decides, okay, I have an idea, I invent an umbrella. Take the umbrella, I go through the hot sun, go and eat that food, come back. So that is going to put a lot of trouble to it. <laughs> this now, now you, what happened that you need to develop ideas to create a umbrella at the cost of not feeding food. 
Now this is like if you look at the trunk, the way which is exposed. Look at every part of the body which is brilliantly excised and the, the amount of food and the variety of food they eat. They eat different type of barks and that comes during the different seasons. Like if the dry season no food, the barks are a very important nutrient. They contain specific exclusive nutrients and they also expose to a lot of minerals. So they are able to detect where what kind of mineral and where it is found. They use their tusk and the dung is to be very importantly very intact. If you eat variety of dry uncooked food. It helps to create this process called dung, which is completely intact. Idea is that not even a small particle of the food waste should be in your body. Think about that you have a digestive problem. Every day just one milli micron of food waste stays in your body for the next 10 years. <laughs> so how this is handled in an elephant? Because they eat roughages and dry food and dry food, the dung is formed in a very brilliant safe. So if a dung is in a very good quality, the safe is maintained. So you would assume that not even a particle is gone inside. The food water particle which is to be come out is not staying in the body. That the, when the, your dung become paste, that's a waste of your life. So you're putting yourself into trouble. One inch every day, 10 years. Think about the toilet which is not clean for 10 years. <laughs> so it creates severe health issues to the animal. Then the teeth, that's all the role. Because when you chew food, you retain no more nutrient. The teeth effectively control this idea of tongue dominating. <laughs> and helps chewing. When you help chewing, that you retain more nutrient. Then you eat variety of After some time, what happened? The elephant develop a six molars. The molars are very important. They just uh, help them crisp food. After sixth molar, the molars go out. They don't have any teeth. So they cannot eat food, they cannot process the food, then the food will be undigested. Like if you look at uh, food, if you go and do a study of elephant dung piles, then you will have a very fully undigested food materials. So you can declare, oh, this animal is going to die soon. So now, this is what you see. This is a, this is a natural food, and when it comes to the food, come from the elephant dung. There is no difference of digestion. That's clear indication elephant has lost its teeth or it has gone to some cropland and somebody put an explosive, it's lost teeth. So it's not able to chew the food. Now, if you're not chewing, if you're not eating, then you become unhealthy. They are old. Then this process of death happens. It's a very respectable process. Okay, then elephant should die. Then no, now I create one teeth for artificial teeth for elephant. I am so intelligent that I create an artificial teeth. And who will create a design for the stomach? This stomach and teeth work together. So nature works in a very simplistic way. There is no specialist. Everyone is specialist. They work in terms of the coordinated approach. The coordination is important. The, when the elephant dies, all decide. All the experts decide there is a time to die. So now what happens in the Tem zoos and temple. If you go to European zoos, no? Like when you take a fruit, you take the seed out, you take the skin out. But what happens in the nature? They don't remove the skin. They, remove the, they don't remove the seed. The full process, a lot of fiber. Okay? Whereas if you go to some of the European zoos, no? The person goes to the elephant. Look how much I care for you. I cut the apples for you, small pieces, nicely cut. There's no need for you to do any exercise. Am I not very attached to you? So that elephant also feels so oh, something greatest human being I've seen in my life. <laughs> Made my life is so simple and straightforward. So what happened now? The elephant is fat. You know, being fat, particularly for a female, but for both elephant and human being, it's not easy. You are in trouble. You are not consciously intelligent to tell that I have trouble. So how do you avoid? Remove care and love. Allow nature to take care. <laughs> so now we know that this squirrel, for example, has to take only three nuts. If it decides to take the fourth nut, what all will happen? It may give up its part of sleep time to explore the fourth nut. And sleeps or tries to sleep during the day time. If it was not able to sleep during time, daytime, it has no energy to explore. That day nut is lost. While exploring fourth nut, it may be exposed to predator. Or if it's able to eat the fourth nut, it becomes obese. 
it may become intelligent and store food store food becomes source of contamination okay then prevent contamination it may buy refrigerators look for electricity to generate power it may destroy its own forest its own shelter and itself or it sleep during the day time will not have food on time develop a stomach problem and consult doctors has become sick or very fat and lazy it will defecate in the shelter itself or construct a toil that further contaminates its shelter and have more health problems and if it was not able to recover will create a god and pray to god or it become intelligent it may write a poem about contamination so the what is the poem when toilets were detached families were attached and when they are attached families are detached that's an elephant problem boy <laughs> okay now we start giving food to everyone including crocodiles so this elephant or any crocodile or any an individual species go out of this order of feeding and taken care by somebody is a temporary phenomena it's not good and the given the crocodile also we give food like we are so intelligent <laughs> so i try to demonstrate by the simple example of so the elephant like to ride crops they go and ride crops they get banana sugarcane papaya jackfruit there are so many things like that. so what we notice in we are doing this study in myanmar they have a bell the wooden bell that you would have seen for the cattle they put a this normal regular bell cells so the elephant what they do they go and raid crops and they are very so consciously intelligent what they do they hold the wooden bell because they don't want any sound to come if there's a sound they'll be out trouble <laughs> the owner will come out and they'll be captured then they'll feed then they also realized if i'm feeding if i'm holding my bell how do i feed okay they developed another intelligent process what they call they took mud and started applying inside the bell <laughs> okay. so now because i have done everything now i con continuously go and raid crops i don't eat 356 species i eat four species which is highly nutriently uh, junk and if you see fruit in forest in jackfruit If there is a only forty percent of sweet, okay, the remaining what you call a lot of fiber, water, so that is generally referred as a self-respecting fruit. Okay. Now you know, no, 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 I want eighty percent <laughs> sweet. Okay. Remove the fiber, remove the sweet. Okay, so what happens? It becomes a junk. Okay, so now who you, whom you give fruit fruit when somebody is not well? the energy is needed so you load them with the fruit because this is a very clear comfort every species go through it but they are not very consciously intelligent that that what do i do with this fruit should i take the seed remove the uh, skin remove the fiber or take it as it is okay then you develop a brain which would help me to remove the seeds without even removing the skin what happens in nature you can't take individual decisions there's no independence you are part of the team part of the group and you see only one single jackfruit tree and six of them and it's not fully ripe and you get only little the next jackfruit you walk another three more meters okay there are six people not only me the birds butterflies and the bats and all the species also competing for it the effectively what i get is a very limited but i what i eat respectable fruit little variety of fruits so i am not trying to preach that that we should start stop eating junk food no my interest of making you to understand <coughs> the food what they eat is very respectable and it goes a lot of process and you can eat more you cannot eat less and uh, you there will somebody help, help you to uh, teach you what to eat what not to eat and it's not stored it is always available the smell of food will help me to if my mechanism of hunger will get triggered i will feed when i see a water body i will drink water so now what happened that when you actually get tempted to it you get into this trouble of getting captured okay because of my temptation somebody would argue there is no food in the forest so it came out but i would argue there are good food and a lot of variety of food because there's in, consciously there's an interest to us something what you like which is much more tastier than what you have been eating and it also gives me independent decision i can take whatever at time whenever i want i take food 
right? That's on another added uh, comfort. <laughs> when you capture what you do, you want to keep them entertained people, right? So the circus people like, children like. So how that, we look at the process associated to bring an elephant to the captivity. So now this elephant is airlifted. We have a technology, we can bring elephants from any country, everywhere, and put them in captivity. And they also develop an intelligence because master likes this and I will follow this rule. So now what we are doing, as we go through the process of not following the nature's rule, we try to extrapolate this rule to four other species. Yeah, just to give an idea that when elephants are in the forest, they don't go through any kind of health issues. I will guarantee. But when they come to city limit, then they have to go through all the process. And they also go through severe health issues, for example, that they feed 18 hours per day, 360 species of variety of things, 18 hours they have to feed. So the body mechanism is not designed to give break. It's not just only for elephant, it's for every species. I talked about to you the footwear. Look at the, the conditions of foot, what the elephant have and what they have in captivity. So now I just try to end my talk saying the conservation and welfare are connected. So what do we call welfare? We don't want the animal to suffer. The, the welfare to me, if I am asked to define the psychological and physical health, good psychological and physical health. So any diversion you go through it, it's going to put stress on the species. Elephant live in the forest without any coming out. Their skin quality, the psychological and physical health is extremely good. There's no doctor needed. But they get tempted to croplands and they just completely change their order. If there are small groups become bigger groups. All at the evening they will meet somewhere, okay, we are going to these other villages. I, I take this GPS read, you take this mobile phone that we'll coordinate, send an SMS message to each other. We and go and reach that village, achieve our target. So now when you are achieving this target, you will be captured. And it's not just only this abuse, physical and psychological also. Particularly this particular male is known for, it's just killed about 18 people in some villages. And the must is one of very important phenomena that comes during the uh, reproductive season. After this animal was captured, after that no time it came to must. <laughs> and any time when sees people, and he'll come close to stand because he's scared of other people who come and capture. And so more even that was, the animal was used to capture this individual. Whenever that particular animal comes, it'll come and come close to you, stand next to you, just protect him. So you're killing the identity of individual. The breaking what you call as a, one of the very important male, you will be selected by other females that you will reproduce, you will contribute for the process of reproduction. But because of your identity change, then you lose all your identity. This particular elephant which is kept in circus for 60 years in some Bombay or some places. Someone felt, okay, this should be taken to forest. When it went to forest and he didn't know what to eat. 60 years I am eating only rice. Rice, 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 nothing else. Suddenly these people are asking me to go to forest. Because as I showed you a slide where a bird lived in a cage for a longer time, it may surely feel the flying is a crime. <laughs> so now it reaches a stage where, no, no, don't put me into forest, I am very happy. So it, what, I, what it does, go to villages and beg food. So the Rani, you cannot create more and more Ranis, which you keep them in captivity. The forest is, freedom is very important. And that, let me take you to the forest. It will enjoy. No. The freedom is important. That freedom comes with the two factors, that you need to live in a natural environment. You need to live with a family which gives a scope. You are independent, that but you cannot take independent decisions. So when I recently went to a place, Thailand, where uh, a lot of sugarcane they put, uh, they are giving only one sugarcane to the elephant. So I was trained to tell the management, if you create this concept of having a lot of things, but giving only one, the elephant will not have a mind to think why there are so many sugarcane, why I am giving only one. <laughs> so what happened nature is source only important things to the system. This is what we need to actually accept and understand. And it denies most of things. So are we not creating a war, denial war? And after that you expect somebody to come and repair the war. So today more people get killed by elephant. The reason is this. The reason is simple. that. Every individual species, as they are not consciously intelligent, get tempted to look for something. 
what will suit for them nobody is worried about it because this is the mechanism of the nature make yourself stupid but you assume that you are an intelligent and you continue this process you enjoy your own voice huh? then you will have a very unhealthy individual then you go to some other country give a lectures to be how to help <laughs> so if you do it yourself fantastic nobody is going to come and preach you don't sit because i just end with one last statement that i was invited to meet one swami ji is a very powerful job swami ji i am not going to mention his name this is my standard examples i give i like this example because i enjoy my own voice often uh, this swami ji when i met him he asked me you study elephant i am an elephant outside i think you would have seen it will you tell me as an expert tell me how do i take care of my elephant i said sir thank you very much and i really respect that you are asking me i said look sir when you bless people continuously you develop a joint pain okay. fine when i told him that he touched this joint so i felt i touched his mind okay. then don't you feel exhausted and tired your hands are not designed to bless people please understand and if your hand is contaminated without your knowledge you are not giving blessing to people this is what elephant is doing outside <laughs> you are elephant particular simple elephant so what we found 60 40 to 60 percent of the captive elephant in kem temple they have a tuberculosis so every blessing you get there's a chance of you getting tuberculosis yes. the very costly blessing okay, because you have to spend a <laughs> lot of money to it okay. i said sir you are continuously sitting you are giving lectures about god to my knowledge what i understand as simple science the blood has to go down it has to come up okay. by sitting continuously is not happen okay because your intelligent species could happen that i have some my own doubts actually <laughs> so now if you want to sit continuously give lecture god would have committed suicide long time ago because i created this characters to take care of the their body you know the body is body i put lot of design it's a fantastic highly extreme high quality design it's a lot of engineering lot of chemical process lot of art the creativity so that i continued my story to the swami ji sir if you come out see your elephant is standing throughout his life the idea is to make people to think understand that if you like something don't overdo it and this man i felt i touched his mind heart that you cannot afford to sit for a long time the body is designed biologically for a different reasons the elephant don't walk several kilometer people if you read documentaries they say elephant walk 50 km 200 km no to my knowledge several years they walk only 7 km 4 km 3 km they don't even walk they move there's a difference between walking and moving in nature the walk is not permitted too much of walk is not permitted. okay i'm not confusing you i'm just asking you to because if you don't understand this that you will not understand what elephant is going through that's the situation today i'm sorry i've just just tried to my, make myself very dry talk i know i really struggle to make it more interesting okay and uh, if you have any questions i'd be honored to answer <laughs> Thank you.